I have been doing like zero grinding in this file. And I've been emphasizing. You don't even need to do any grinding, you can still have it by this point. Well, I chose to learn other abilities first. Isn't that like a number one ability for the, uh, for what's her name? The, uh, goddammit, I never forget the, uh, the, that GF that gets the silence ability when you actually use it in battle. So oh, no, no, GF no. She, she, can, she can learn magic bonus, so I'm having her learn that first because that's actually more useful if you learn it earlier. I just usually get the uh, refined uh, curative spells from items because of the fact that, you know, um, craft, uh, craft cure goes from tits and uh, watch your character. Is that a dead body? Come. No. No, that was a dead sword. <laughs> okay. Swords That's don't sword. die. That's basically impossible. Swords can't die. They never lived, so they can't die. Hey, They're play Skyward Sword when it comes out. <laughs> So a very simple way to get everything, it, once you see the student ID number, you can leave. You just have to tell the guard that number, but you will miss out on something very nice if you do. Anyway, oh, if it's you... it's a statue that then attacked you. Did not see that coming. It's a statue that came the physics are failing. Physics? This is, this is, uh, Final Fantasy VIII. We don't need physics here. You don't need e even need to put the eight there. <laughs> <laughs> so, you, you want to cast Float on this guy, whose name incidentally is Sacred. Uh, because whenever he's in contact with the ground, he gets, like, tear cast on him every few seconds. Yeah, it's kind of like a very cool little uh, ring game, basically. Yeah. And he is probably one of the hard bosses to actually die to, because he's got the life spell for, uh, on his draw list. Yes, um, which means that the thing that happened in the battle against Diablos will not happen again because anyone who can use magic can now revive people. Yeah. I, the fight. What I had what only I had only one character who could use items, and Diablos used Roar Smash against her like three times in a row or something, and. I didn't... Okay, I'm not sure if I even had that spell. If I did, I didn't know you could do that to him. Yeah, Blind, blind Diablos is, like, the best thing to do against him. Well, if you could blind him, then basically he can't kill you, can he? That's the whole point. You blind him, so the only thing we can really hit you with is his damage spell to drop him a little health, and then watch Zell, and then watch Zell wreck his face, or of course just shoot lasers from her boobs. It's called laser eye, not laser boob. <laughs> I demonstrate one of her most awesome limit breaks in this session. Yay! That was, I, I, do, well, I do have a challenge with you for, for you, though. Think I do wish you did use at least once at the end from a selfie. That is so dependent on luck. I mean, if, if it appears, I will use it. But it's very, very much dependent on luck. Um... I think for Mario's, the end was one of her rarest ones, and then I think the other one was like, um, beating her in full lights. Yeah, so, as he's I was- scared of, um, he's scared of Quistus's awesome power. Yes. Uh, as I was saying, if you want to, there are a few things you have to do to get to where you need to go to get the big reward of this dungeon. Um, all you have to do is go right at every opportunity until you are back at the beginning. Yeah, um, just keep following the right wall. Which is what I'm going to do, and fortunately the encounter right here is very low. I think I get into three battles or something the whole time. That is nice. Yeah, because I do remember the monsters here can be mildly annoying, but they do know protect and show, which is good. Yes. There's one monster in particular that you may not have, you may not have what you need to do significant damage to it, but you can 
can always run. Yeah. I think I encounter it somewhere around here. Uh, these rooms kind of all look the same, don't they? Yeah, I mentioned not too long ago that they were all the same color. <laughs> I'm sensing a scene here. <laughs> Alright, drop point, what's here? Oh, wait. Your video, I think your videos are ahead of mine. Why are you mom? Right at the draw point. And there's nothing there. Okay, you guys are a few seconds ahead of me. <laughs> That is not a problem. Dude, you just flooded the, the hole. Yes, you're definitely ahead of me. <laughs> you know, I almost wish I was around for session, session six, because then I could make fun of Zelda and do all those business. <laughs> now you're engaging in a battle with... Camera Pan? Okay, seriously, you guys are definitely ahead of where I am. Actually, in this game, it's not called a fly. It's called a blobra. Blobra. Huh? Stocking shells. Oh, right. Yeah, um... Does it still follow the flan rules of you can only really kill it with magic? Yeah. Um, unless you happen to have a an element junction to your attack that's the that one... Too. Yeah. That makes sense. The tricky thing about these things is you don't know which element they're weak to. The only way to find out is to scan every one. Like, the color doesn't tell you? Nope, they are all the same color. Oh, bro. Very weak to ice. Could I just skip That just seems really seconds? annoying. You have to scan it every time. <laughs> this is going to be a crappy fun, but we're going to have to break the ice on this creature. Wah, wah. No, I said it was a crappy pawn. I if you knew it was crappy, then why did you even say it? Because it's yes. so sad, it's somewhat of a chuckle. Did you hear anybody laughing? I didn't even hear the pawn. Excellent. I heard it, and it was awesome. <laughs> Zell's victory dance is awesome. He punches the air, and then he gets angry at someone because he remembers that Sephiroth. And then, uh, god damn it, what's that guy's name? Cypher. Yeah, Cypher had the most awesome insult in the world by calling him a chicken horse. Yep. It was just so funny how mad he got at that comment, too. That was hilarious. It's like, say what? Did we both just say that at the same time? I don't know. Oh, this is reminding me of playing Super Mario Brother New Super Mario Brothers Wii with a few friends because one of them kept saying, Hey guys, this is a go right game, this is a go right game, this is a go right game. And that would like always be his excuse for rushing ahead of everyone when we were all like clearly either, you know, behind or trying to do something else or like hold up, we wanna get the star going. No, it was like I and one other person were trying to get all the stuff, like all the star coins in particular. One of us was just trying to rush through everything, and the other one of us was just trying to survive. Yeah. And somehow. Yeah, but that's the people you have to be with. Yeah, trying to survive is difficult. Yeah, but somehow we managed to get through World 1 with most of the star coins. I don't know how that happened. This, this place works just like the... Oh man, there's there's a um, there's an area in Baton Catus, which is a uh, it's a labyrinth type area, and the camera does the same annoying thing that this is doing. Which is, it always flips around so it's behind you whenever you enter a new screen. Mm -hmm. yep. That's but that place is really... I like that place a lot, because it has really cool music. 
That's one reason why this place can be very disorienting. Yeah, well, fortunately it also means that you can just use the go-right strategy. Yeah. Well, you can't, you can't do that in Baby Cadus because of... It has, like, it has a circuit around the outside edge, so, like, you don't actually hit everywhere if you only do that. Well, yeah, that's the case here, too. There's a circuit around the outside edge. But I'm keep, I keep going with the circuit on purpose because I um The points of interest are around the edge. Yeah, and also once I hit all the points of interest I wanted to save, which I, I think I did that and I just cut it out. Um and here's another new enemy called an Armadodo. Armadodo. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> And by everyone you mean Zenat. Yeah, I, I'm leaving this in so that when I'm making the video descriptions, I can keep track of what levels my GFs have reached. That makes sense. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, hey, it's that guy again. And that other guy, too. Uh, his, his big brother. Bro! Notice, notice the... the the case that each each of them uses. <laughs> Big brother talks only in lowercase. <laughs> little brother talks only in uppercase. A little brother yells, and Big brother is very calm. <laughs> they sort of remind me of Raijin. Sort of remind me of Raijin and Fujin. <laughs> <laughs> I will rinse through the internet and I will strangle you. Lies! <laughs> <laughs> so, Minotaur also gets healed whenever he's touching the ground, which means you want to cast Flood on everybody. It also means that Double is an extremely useful spell for this battle. You also want to cast float on your party because there is a certain attack that will not hit you if you're floating. Is it blood? No. No. I think it would make sense. It would make sense, but that isn't it. Yeah, you'd have to, like, do some refining items to make quake spell. Ow. Okay, guys, what time is your video at? Okay, I would put mine a few seconds ahead, but because I'm just afraid that I'll put it, like, more further, I'll put it further ahead than that if I try to do it. Don't worry, we can just act like, we can act like we're, you know, watching it a few seconds behind. Um... You actually played this, so you know what's happening anyway. Okay. Thank you, Oh, God. Okay, I think I managed to put it. 
I managed to put it just a few seconds ahead. I'm now at 30, 43, 44, 45. Okay, well, my video seems to be falling behind gradually, so... Maybe I'll get back with where you guys are. Your, your computer somehow does not like you, so it makes you want to watch the video slower. What is this? <laughs> I don't even know. Totally the sound effect floating makes. <laughs> <laughs> Let's give Red Ball to the balls. Minotaurs, <laughs> what you talking about? Ow. There's a difference. Yeah. Oh no, Zell is dying. <laughs> of dysentery. <laughs> <laughs> Yo! Red, that reminds me! They've got a lot of L's! <laughs> you are saying it wrong? <laughs> hey, I got, I got, I got another fossil question there. If we just summon the giant explosion in, in these labyrinths, how does the labyrinth not explode? Yeah, I'm not in a good mood right now. <laughs> <laughs> Final Fantasy logic! <laughs> No, it did not. <laughs> Game over, yeah! <laughs>